Welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, John, the light, part six. This is based on John 12, verses 37 through 50. Although he had performed numerous signs in their presence, they did not believe in him so that what the prophet Isaiah spoke might be fulfilled when he said, Lord, who has believed our message, and to whom has the Lord's power been revealed? This is why they could not believe. Isaiah also said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts so that they might not perceive with their eyes and understand with their mind and turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this when he saw his glory and spoke about him. If I shine a bright light into your eyes after you have been in the dark for a few hours, the light blinds you. So, in a sense, God has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. The light of truth from God is not wanted by the dark churches. They close their eyes to it and refuse to perceive it with their hearts. Therefore, they refuse to look to God in order for God to heal them. We must understand, these blind eyes were not atheist, agnostic, skeptics, pagans, or unbelievers. These were tithe-paying, church-going Sabbath keepers whom God designated as blind. Today, they would be known as Seventh-day Adventist, Church of God, Seventh-day, Seventh-day Church of God, and over 560 other organizations, churches, and denominations that go to church on the seventh day the Sabbath. This includes Jews, Baptists, Pentecostals, Lutherans, and many more. But today, this day, the days we are living in, the days of the Laodicean Church of Revelation, they are all blind. Why? Because they refuse to go to Jesus and obey Him. Like the Jews of Christ's day, they are going to church instead of going to Jesus. God did not tell one person to go to church. He did not tell one person to build the church. He did not tell one person to start a denomination. What he did command us was, Come unto me and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And yet they refuse to go to him in obedience to his commands to stop sinning, be perfect, and to keep the Ten Commandments to get your eternal life. It doesn't matter what the name of your church, group, or denomination is. All churches today, according to Revelation, are whores of Babylon. All organized religions are copies, to some degree, of the Roman Church. The devil is very pleased when you sit in church. He knows you will go to sleep and feel very secure doing nothing for God. Going to church does not please God. Giving God's money to your church is the same as giving it to a pagan organization or system. It does not please God. God has laid down very specific criteria for who his money is to go to. It doesn't matter what name your organization or church has or what day it goes to church on. What matters is what are they teaching. Do they teach you to have the character and message of Jesus who was perfect, sinless, and obedient to the Ten Commandments? Yet many people, even some of the authorities, believed in him 
but because of the Pharisees, they did not admit it, so they would not be thrown out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of human beings more than the praise of God. I am sure there are many in churches who would come out if others had the backbone to stand up and lead the way. In the judgment, when church members stand before the throne of God, waiting to be burned up, they will be held responsible for the timid who followed their example by staying in a sinking church. They loved the praise of human beings more than the praise of God. People are afraid to speak up and teach the truth of Jesus in their church, that they must stop sinning, be perfect, and keep the Ten Commandments to get their eternal life. They are afraid they may be thrown out of the church. How sad. The praise of man is more important than the praise of God. Then Jesus said loudly, the one who believes in me does not believe in me only, but also in the one who sent me. The one who sees me sees the one who sent me. Are you speaking loudly in your church? The devil has so brainwashed our churches, they have truly forgotten that it is the Father's duty to destroy all sin and sinners. It is only the atonement of Jesus that is preventing the Father from destroying this planet and all sinners at this time. But if we refuse to believe in Jesus, listening to the message he brought from the Father and living in obedience to it as Jesus did, we will be burned up. And it doesn't matter what church you belong to, who your pastor is, or what denomination you belong to. None of that will get you into heaven. Only character will be going to heaven. If you have not changed your life by living as Jesus commands, you have no eternal life. And let me make this very plain. Sitting around watching or listening or talking about conspiracy theories about this church or that church, this leader or government official, none of that will get you into heaven. All of that gossip is sinful. It is taking your eyes off of Jesus and putting them on man. That is right where the devil wants your eyes. Take them off of your church, the Catholic church, the conspiracy theories, what your government is doing, and all the rest of the entertainment that is taking up your time. And go to Jesus. Spend those hours learning what pleases Jesus and obey him. I have come into the world as light so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in the darkness. To believe in Jesus is not to sit in church singing praises to his name or believing in some Bible doctrines. The devil knows all the Bible doctrines and he will not be in heaven. There will be pagans in heaven who know nothing of Bible doctrine. Why will they be in heaven? Because they lived the Ten Commandments as best they knew how even though they were never taught them. Your church is not the light. Only Jesus is the light. His words are the rays of his light that are shining out. But if you are hiding those rays of his light, you will be destroyed. You must take those rays of light and put them into your heart so that you will not sin against God. You must get out of your dark church by taking hold of his rays of light and walk in obedience to them. Then you must let those rays of light shine out to those around you. You must speak them to others. It may be fun going to your church. Your church may bring you ecstasy and lots of warm feelings. But none of that has anything to do with getting into heaven. Going to your church may bring you joy and lots of social comfort, but that is not what Jesus said to do. 
Jesus said to stop sinning, be perfect, and to keep the Ten Commandments to get your eternal life. Are you doing that? If anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I do not condemn him, because I did not come to condemn the world, but to save it. The one who rejects me and does not receive my words has something to judge him. The word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day because I have not spoken on my own authority. Instead, the Father who sent me has himself commanded me what to say and how to speak. I don't understand why we refuse to believe Jesus. I don't understand why we believe our pastors, churches, and denominations while slapping Jesus in the face. He is so plain if you hear my words and don't keep them. The word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. Get it? If you sit in church hearing the words of Jesus to stop sinning, be perfect and to keep the Ten Commandments to get your eternal life and do not obey them, those very words will judge you on the last day and you will be destroyed. If you are reading the words of Jesus and not putting them into practice, you are condemning yourself. Maybe that is why you do not hear them. The churches are afraid to teach them to you. You might not like them and leave the church, taking your money in search of a church who will tell you what you want to hear. Closing off your ears can be very comforting, but it is very deadly. And I know that what he commands brings eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. No wonder the pastors, churches, and denominations teach from every part of the Bible except the teachings of Jesus. They love Paul. The more confusing Paul is, the better it is. They love to twist and turn Paul to make him say what they want him to say. But Paul is not your God. Paul is not your Savior. Paul cannot get one person into heaven. Only those who are obedient to Jesus will be in heaven. If your pastor, church, or denomination uses Paul in any way that makes it sound like he is disagreeing with Jesus, get out now. Listen to 2 Peter 3.16. Paul talks about these same things in all his letters. But part of what he says is hard to understand. Some ignorant and unsteady people even destroy themselves by twisting what he said. They do the same thing with other scriptures too. All churches, pastors, and denominations fall into that verse. I pray that you will get out of your church denomination and from under the control of your pastor and go to Jesus. Listen to what Jesus is saying and then live in obedience. Thank you for joining JCPM and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.